Yep, that's what I bought. So in total, it came up to $770, roughly. I think it's worth it, yeah. Um, no regrets yet. Damn, that was a big expense. Well, uh, yeah, stay tuned. You'll see what it is. Woo. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I made a lot of purchases, like camera gear wise and stuff like that, because, you know, that's just how it goes when you're a filmmaker or a creative, you know, you're always trying to get new equipment um, when you need to. Some more expensive than others, but this one in particular uh, isn't quite my most expensive, but I am that it's the type where I'm the most excited to get. So what I decided to get was a gimbal. I have used stabilizers in the past. I, I still do currently own uh, a Steadicam, which is a manual stabilizer. I'm not gonna completely get rid of the Steadicam. I'm gonna combine those two into one whole stabilizer, which I've seen a lot of filmmakers do uh, this year. Specifically, it was inspired from the uh, RE Trinity. Now that camera is a couple hundred thousand dollars. So a lot of, you know, indie filmmakers and creatives, they did their own sort of thing where they combined a glide cam with a uh, electronic stabilizer or a gimbal. They combined those two to, you know, make a uh, DIY sort of RE Trinity. So that's what I'm gonna attempt to do today. Now, a lot of you guys are probably asking, Zach, uh, you know, what type of gimbal did you get? Now, the gimbal that I bought, it's not really well known out there in the creative world compared to, you know, the DJI Ronin um, or the June, Crane 3S. You know, I did my research and um, yeah, I think this is like the, the best budget or bang for your buck type of gimbal and it's also pretty high quality and this is what I got. Yep. Now Firetech, they mainly, you know, sell the phone stabilizers for the smaller form factor cameras that f in your smartphone, right? But I don't think a lot of people really know. Um, the AK4500. Now, I'm not gonna be, you know, doing a full review on this gimbal. I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that have uh, done full reviews of this video. One I do recommend is from Dunda Did It. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing of this gimbal. Now, listen, I have done my research, you know, this is a good gimbal, but I kind of forget the, you know, I forgot the specs and then the features and whatnot. Um, but okay, I'm gonna name the features that I remembered from this uh, gimbal and trust me, those, it's a pretty good solid gimbal guys. But anyways, yeah, one of the features is that it's touch screen, you know, it can do the, uh, the inception type of uh, movement where uh, the camera goes in certain full circle. You know, it, it has other cool features as well, but Dunda did it, he explains a lot of them. And you know, the whole point of this video is to unbox and try to combine it with my manual study cam to create a DIY RE Trinity, which I'm very excited to do guys, because if you guys don't know, the RE Trinity is a very uh, dope, sick sick camera stabilizer um that's what the that's what they use in hollywood and it costs a lot of money the way the movements go and very dynamic i don't know it's cool you know actually potato jet actually made a video about it you guys should check it out as well i'll just link it somewhere here so guys this is what you get in the box now I only got the essentials kit. So, you know, when you go on the Firetech website, you could either choose between getting the essentials kit, which is basically just the gimbal, or you can get the one with the follow focus. Alrighty, what do we have here? We got a little mail from Firetech. Oh, would you look at that? It says, hello. We're not gonna read that. We're just here to unbox and I'll do this thing on my own. Now I have used an electronic gimbal in the past, um, which was the Moza Air. It wasn't really mine. It was from a marketing ag agency that I worked with. And um, yeah, I used it all the time when I uh, did the productions. That one didn't really come with a case. So I'm kind of thankful, you know, that this thing came with a case. You guys are be the first to see it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. All right, first off, when you open the case, what I immediately see is the gimbal itself. You know, here it is, the AK4500E. Wow. And one thing I like about this, guys, is um, every single joint here locks. So in case you're trying to stabilize the gimbal, which we're always gonna be doing, you can lock it so you could stabilize one part of it, which is extremely helpful. So here, everything, all the joints are unlocked, and if you just wanna lock it, like that, it's gonna lock. 
right? And you could unlock it here, bring it back to there, lock it, it's locked. Same as this joint, lock it. <clears throat> All right, so next up we have these things. I don't know the names, but we, okay. We have the mounting plates and uh, this is one cool feature also that I always wanted in a uh, electronic steady cam. They have these quick release plates that you know, remember your position. So you know how you always have to like take out the camera from your gimbal, let's say you wanna do some handheld shooting and then when you have to put it back on the gimbal, you always have to like rebalance it. One feature that I really like about this particular gimbal is, is with this specific plate. Now this plate, you can stabilize it using this base plate right here, but then when you have to take it off, you can just use this plate and attach it, which is already attached to your camera. And this thing won't move. You know, traditional gimbals, you only have this guy attached to the camera, but with this one, you have a separate plate to attach to your camera so that this position doesn't move in the gimbal. So all you gotta do is take it off from here with this quick, quick release uh, knob and put it back on. No need to stabilize. Quickly, uh, you just quick, quickly uh, put it on and then that's it. Go back to shooting. So what this guy is, it's a, it's a lens support. So let's say you have a long, long lens and uh, you don't want to damage the frame, the lens mount for the, from the camera. So you just use this guy to support the lens from the tip and then no need to worry about those. Um, you get your cables. This guy attaches to your gimbal over here. And then you can attach either this guy or another um, rod to, you know, use those low, uh, low, low ground shots for your gimbal. Yep, so these are the little uh, thumb screws that you put on to your gimbal uh, for this guy right here. You have your tripod stand right here. Well, guys, the material on this is solid metal. So another thing you guys get is the batteries. Now these are independent batteries. I would have loved to have them have a uh, built-in battery where you could just plug it in and charge it. Instead, you gotta take them out and charge them yourselves. And here you get the charger. So that's it. That's what's basically inside the AK4500 stabilizer. Here, um, I actually want to test this out because I'm curious. I'm actually filming this at night. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be filming in the morning when I'm trying to, you know, play around with this, get to know this a little bit better. And then when I'm good and comfortable with it, I'm going to uh, pair it up with my uh, Steadicam. So, but right now, since I have nothing else to do, I'm going to try to, you know, combine it with that. So let's wait and see. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm kind of using my A6300 right now, filming this video. So I'm gonna use my old DSLR camera, my Canon XTI. Unfortunately, it does not shoot video. It can only take pictures, but what can you do, right? This used to be my dad's, I think. I mean, it still is. Similar form factor to my Sony A6300, although that one right now is a mirrorless DSLR, but it's the closest I've got. That way, oh no, there we go. So this is the camera guys, this is the DIY RE Trinity. It's not fully stabilized now because it's obviously very top heavy. Okay, so tomorrow morning you'll see this fully integrated with this guy. In another video, I'm gonna do some comparisons between this guy by itself and the Steadicam by itself and as well as the DIY RE Trinity. So those three compared, see the advantages, disadvantages, and the difference between those different platforms. So yeah, I'll see you guys there.